It's day 138 of the project, and as promised, today's Scent of the Day is another brand new release for 2022. And I've been really looking forward to trying this one because the notes look really interesting. This one is Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privy, and to find out everything you need to know about this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 138 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privy EDP and that's a mouthful uh, which was launched in the UK just this week in February of 2022. It's a woody floral fragrance and it comes in two sizes, a 60ml at £56.50 and a 100ml size variant like this one at £82. And the only place at the moment that you can pick this one up from is the perfume shop and they're currently giving away uh, one of these 12.5ml travel sprays with every purchase. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation and the box arrives uh, with this cardboard sleeve uh, over the top of the box which features an image of the ball. The box itself is uh, quite minimalistic and comes in like a, a dark brown and black colourway uh, with gold branding on the front. There's the name of the house, the name of the fragrance and also a small logo at the bottom as well as on the top of the box. Then at the bottom, you've got your usual uh, product information, your barcode and your batch code. Then inside the lid, uh, you've got a, a little signature, has Givenchy signature there, uh, which introduces you to the scent. The bottle again is really stylish and elegant with uh, a black to clear gradient on it. Uh, but the colour of the juice makes it look like a, a bit like a, a liquor bottle. On the front is the name of the house and on the back you've got another Givenchy logo in uh, like a gold metallic. You get a really nice weighty click on cap uh, and the spray quality on this one is really decent. And I don't know, I don't know what you guys think, uh, but I really like how this one looks. It's very classy, it's handsome looking and it's going to look great on your dressing table. The top notes in this one are bergamot and scotch whiskey. In the heart, we've got chestnut, iris and benzoin. And in the base, there's cedarwood, amber and vetiver. Yeah, so the standout notes in this one are the iris, the scotch whiskey and the woody notes. And before I picked this one up today, I did, well, I did promise myself that I wouldn't do it and I uh, looked to see what all the dreamers had to say about it on Fragrantica. And sure enough, there were people claiming that they'd had it for weeks and that it was just identical to Dior Home Intense uh, because it's got the iris note in it. Don't get me wrong, uh, you are going to get plenty of the iris and it will inevitably make you draw comparisons to Dior Home Intense sense. However, this one does go off in a, a different direction as it dries down. This is much woodier than the Dior and it's not as floral. And although the whiskey note in this one isn't in your face and uh, this is not what I'd call a boozy fragrance, it is definitely there and it blends with the woods uh, and you get like this very mild booziness and a more masculine take on the note of iris. From the initial spray, you get a short, sharp blast of uh, the bergamot, uh, but it's one of those where if you blink, you'll miss it. This is quickly joined by the iris and the whiskey, and this is where you're gonna get that Dior Homme Intense comparison from, because uh, for the first half an hour or so, it's the iris note that comes right to the forefront. However, it fades quite a bit uh, during the dry down and it becomes more about the woodiness with the cedar wood and the chestnut and this is sweetened up by the benzoin and the amber. At this point, the iris sticks around in the background and provides a more of a velvety, powdery smoothness. To me, the dry down smells similar to the 2017 version of Givenchy Gentleman and the smooth, powdery woodiness that you get in that one. It's not too sweet and it smells very masculine and sophisticated with quite a mature scent character. Uh, 
I think this smells absolutely amazing and for anyone who dismisses it as like just a, a plain old copy of Dior Homme Intense I kind of giving it a thin opinion and being a little bit lazy with it this has got plenty of other stuff going on and it's going to be one of the standout releases of 2020 I'm sure I'd say this is going to be best to wear in the cooler months of the year during maybe spring and definitely the autumn it's a bit sweet and woody for the summertime and maybe not dark enough for the coldest stir of winter days it's 100% a fragrance that suits dressed up occasions and I wouldn't wear this casually it's one of those fragrances uh, where if you spray it whilst you're wearing your jeans and a t-shirt you'd have to just get changing into something a bit smarter it's very refined and this would complement a tailored suit on a professional well-groomed man it's definitely a masculine fragrance that uh, would be best suited to guys maybe 25 or above. It's a relaxed, warm and comforting scent that you, you should, could also wear like on date nights, but it's too sophisticated to, uh, to wear as a clubbing fragrance. I would say that this one is an executive fragrance for successful guys. It's an EDP concentration and so far I'm impressed with how this one's performing. I bought this uh, this morning at 9am and it's now 4pm so I'm 7 hours in and I'm still getting really strong wash from it when I kind of move about. I don't think it's a, a scent that's going to fill a room, uh, it's not obnoxious, but anyone who's within a few feet of you uh, whilst you're walking by them are definitely going to notice it. I think it, um, I would say it definitely outperforms the last release which was the uh, Boisie Flanca. This one smells absolutely gorgeous, but if it's the whiskey note that's kind of the sole thing that's attracting you to this one, I'd say it might not satisfy your needs because the booziness kind of makes up for around about for maybe less than 5% of the overall scent aroma. I would say it plays more like a, a supporting role to the woods. It's the woods and the iris that you're going to pick up on the most in this one. It smells luxurious, it's super smooth and well blended. And from what I can tell after just one full wearing, it seems to perform really well too. I'd say it's a little bit on the pricey side at £82, so I'd say definitely try before you buy it. Uh, but overall, I'm really impressed with this one and I think it will receive much more love than it does hate. So for that reason, it gets a 9 out of 10 from me. Yes, yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But don't forget, coming up in the next episode, I've got yet another 2022 release coming your way. So if that's not spoiling you all, I don't know what is. I've also got a, a stunning designer scent to talk about once it gets delivered. So plenty of good stuff on the way to watch out for. But as always, guys, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of these fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.